idle hands on the devil's playground. One of the things you want to buy are these Meteor um, rain shower lights. Sometimes they're called dripping icicles, and they're about a foot long, and there's 10 on a string. Next thing you want to buy, um, I got these from Walmart. They're Chinette Crystal Clear uh, Dessert Plates. Um, these are the smaller ones, 7 inch. Uh, I'm going to get some bigger ones too. I think the bigger ones are 10s or 12s. I can't remember. When you use your door hole saw, um, you can see in the middle of the plate that's got a little uh, dot. Stick it to that because that's the center of the plate. Hold the plate down flat, like so. Put the drill bit that's in the center of the door hole saw in the middle. Don't press hard on it because it will crack it. Before the plate has time to cool, grab your hot boogers, which I like to call them, and peel them off so they come off really easy. Because if not, uh, it won't fit over the... Um, clear pipe and you could just sand this later with like a drumble uh with a oopsie cracked it careful you could uh sand this with a uh a dremel and a barrel sander um but i'm trying to save an extra step because i have a lot of plates to cut there we go all perfect um once you get it all cut up like this you paint the outside like i have been doing here And I'm just using uh, bristol Metallic. Any good shiny metal looking paint will work. And you don't need a ton of paint, just coat it real well. Like so. And you're just gonna repeat that a gajillion times. Next, you wanna get a clear, uh, clear tube. This is a dust tube for like a dust system or something. I'll, I'll provide the link. Um, tape your lights, um, your icicle lights in groups of three. And then the top one will just have four in it. The plates you're gonna to wanna to glue together. Uh, you can use hot glue or uh, Gorilla Glue Clear. And then uh, you wanna make sure, or well actually first you wanna paint these. I would uh, paint the outside. I tried painting the inside on this one, and it looks more plasticky than I want it to. Um, I would paint the outside and then press the two together like this, glue it, and uh, just do that all the way down. I'm gonna use two different sizes, um, so it should be pretty cool looking. So these I painted on the outside uh, instead of the inside, and uh, I think it catches the light a lot better. I mean, it catches a lot, a lot, lot better if you can see that. So when the two are pressed together, you can see how it catches the light on it really well. This is going to look really nice. But obviously, we're going to want to do this same pattern over and over again so there's no tube showing. We want to try to cover that gap as much as possible. Looking good. It took exactly 70 plates to cover the thing. Uh, I got a clear bulb coming. We'll add that here in a little bit, but it is pretty impressive looking so far. I am loving it. All right, so they sell these uh, clear um, acrylic Christmas bulbs for filling and then hanging, and they just kind of snap together. Well, I just cut the top of it a little bit um, using my angle grinder, and then I jammed the... Uh, the LED lights in there. And uh, now I'm gonna paint this um, metallic just like the rest of it. All right, I still need to make a base for it, but there you go. There's my Frankenstein's laboratory light. And you can see how cool and shiny metallic the ball is and uh, insulator plates are. And then you plug it in. Oh man, isn't that cool? Now let's see what it looks like in the night, in the dark. Oh 
man, look at that light show. Looks like something out of Star Trek almost, huh? Or Frankenstein's light. It gives off a good amount of light. I mean, you can see how much it's uh, lighting up the garage here. So in low light, it looks really good. Or even better, in dark, looks really good. It's crazy how much this thing lights up. But there you go. Frankenstein's Laboratory.